Nancy Goddess. I'm your host tonight, and we have a new person on the set, Sharice. How are you? Nice to meet you. I'm doing very well, Nancy. Welcome. Thank you. Along with Daviva. How are you? Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So this is your first time here on our set. It is. And you are a model, an actress? And host. And uh, host? Yeah, three. How long have you been a model? I've been a model for four years. That's wow. It. Yeah, it seems like 25. <laughs> so what inspired you? What inspired me is uh, um, I, I met a photographer um, at, at, a ch at my church, um, Brooklyn Tabernacle, and for years he would say, um, please let me take a picture of you for my portfolio. And I said, absolutely not. I'm a doctor. I use my mind. And then um, after a while, I just gave in and doors just opened up. I, he took a picture and um, helped me to, to um, put it into um, auditions and God just opened up doors and um, I'm grateful for that. That's wonderful. Yeah. Now, would that happen to be Henry O? Henry O, that's his Henry name. Henry O, he takes fabulous pictures. He's so we're going to show the viewers later on some of the pictures he took. That would be awesome. He's extremely talented. Yes, I know. I have some pictures that he's done many times of a lot of uh, other models and myself, too. I'm looking forward. However, Dave, she gets some headshots. Yes, I kind of forgot to call. I've been a little busy, but yeah, I'm going to make a call this uh, next week. It does help a lot. You it know? does help, yeah. To have I'm getting photos. more calls again. Uh, some people from Puerto Rico contacted me. They want me to go ahead and do some of their plus size right. uh, outfits and uh, clothing, which is awesome. awesome. Isn't it something we have the two spectrum uh, uh, of modeling? Uh, the, what they call straight modeling, which is uh, petite, and the plus size, which right. is good. You know? yeah. Absolutely. And so, um, where do you usually model? Um, and for whom have you modeled? I, I model different places. Um, who um, actually got me started was Catherine Schuler. I work. Um, I model for Runway, the Real Way. Oh, she's wonderful. Yes. Yeah, she's uh, she's very open and sharing and helpful of all types of women, skinny, plus size, in between. Um, she doesn't at all discriminate. And it's been amazing. Um, we've I've uh, modeled at Yotel in the city. Yes, um, many times. Uh, I don't know if it's a monthly or weekly. Um, it's it's every other month. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then we do other venues as well. Great. Yeah. I modeled at Brooklyn Fashion Week. It was two weeks ago, mm -hmm. and we modeled in Brooklyn, and it was at the Lighthouse Studio. Oh, that this must have been huge fun. warehouse. It was nice. It was awesome. Wow. That's great. Can I ask a quick question? Yes. When you went to, um, you, for your first audition, how did that all go? My first? The truth. <laughs> <laughs> My first audition was nerve-wracking. I had to run to the bathroom a few times. Sorry, don't want to. No, no, it's, get, it's normal. Get any visual aids. Oh, no. But, um, and I was always asking questions. Everybody's telling me different things. People who aren't models, people who are just, like, cleaning. I'm asking them questions. But um, it was a great experience because I'm nervous, but um, I know what to tell other people. Absolutely. And, and the excitement is still there. I always get excited mm -hmm. and nervous when I come, especially being on this show right now. Oh, no worries. Oh, you're it's good. So much you're good. Fun. We're actually in a small room. I mean, we do a lot of big shows in the other room, but this is a smaller room. Yeah. So it's much more comfortable and quaint. I want you to share your best audition and your worst audition. <laughs> No, no, it happens. Sometimes we do some things, we mess up like big time, and sometimes it goes like easy. You just walk in, sign the paper, get out. Oh, nobody ever really pays attention. I think my easiest um, audition would have to be for um, a hotel mm -hmm. commercial, and um, I was with another person, and we kept um, just encouraging each other and saying um, there was one word that, we, um, that, that helped us that day, and it was... Um, consistency um, just consistency and we went in and it's like we worked off each other and the, um, the director said you know we don't have to um, audition anybody else you guys got oh it. my god that's awesome that's that was so great it's rare but it, it happened no no it they, does now yeah. share the, the worst <laughs> one <laughs> no 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 because you see it's not her worst one it was an, an experience you always learn from each audition what to do and what not to do and I'm not saying it you know because 
what was like the most difficult instead of saying the worst one? Right, that the would most be a difficult choice word. Uh, the most difficult, it would have to be, um, I tried to be, to fake it. I tried okay. to fake it. I wasn't myself. I, I wasn't relaxed. Okay. I, and, and I, and I, um, my voice was too high. Hi, my name! It wasn't, uh. <laughs> I wasn't myself. Okay, so cool. it, it was horrible. So that's like one advice you would tell anybody who's going to an audition. Be yourself, be, be yourself. relaxed, consistency. That's right. All right, and don't show hate or shade. No hate or shade. Help somebody else who's on the audition. Just be yourself. Do, just so cool. be yourself. So yeah. those are great tips. Yeah. Now we have somebody else with us here, Heather. Hello. She's a makeup artist. Okay. Um, hi, hi, Heather. Heather. Look at you. Hi. Oh, gee. Hi, Heather. Hi. You look so beautiful. Love your makeup. Thank you so much. We're losing her voice a little bit. But we still see her fabulous face. Oh, yeah, my God. Yeah. Come on, turn to the left. Turn to the <laughs> right. Oh <laughs> I don't my know. God. She left to your left. Anybody's yeah. left. Anybody's right. Look at us. Gorgeous. For some reason, you're breaking up a little bit, but um, uh, I know that you're doing makeovers. We all need makeover. I need yeah. a makeover. I need a makeover. Beautiful. I'm getting down to the studio and do maybe a lot me. Are you going to come to the studio? I would love to come to the studio. Oh, that would be, be great. nice. Maybe we could work it out and you let Joey know. We can work that out. Sharice might have some questions about makeup, right? Yes, I do. I'm always asking people questions. Um, she's an amazing makeup artist herself. <sighs> Please. She is. I have six chins, but I only, you only see three today. That's the big friend. Contour. <laughs> well, um, any questions we have today? Okay, one question I do have. Um, is it important to put on foundation or can you just put a highlighter or bronzer on your face without um, the foundation? So if you have pretty even, you can absolutely work with nice moisturizer and then a high, maybe a little contour. But she does have like, fabulous skin. That'll be, yeah, you if, you're, if your skin looks like that, you can just do it. You don't need any. Okay, thank you, thank you. No, she, I, when I did her makeup, I was like, what foundation? Yeah, she looks she, so good, I'm like, what do you need? Are these hands are blessed but, right uh -huh, here. Thank you, no, now, no. Now, with the foundation, should you put powder on top of that too afterwards? If you are going to wear it for several hours for a wedding or something, I would recommend after have to set it. If you have the skin, then I the powder. Okay. Right. But she she's you she's breaking up a little bit, Joey. I don't know if you could fix that. But she definitely looks great. Amazing. I'll, I'll be wow. happy just looking at you girl. Yeah. The so makeup your makeup yeah. looks so good. Yeah, yeah she, her, the, the audio, the audio is breaking up a little bit. Let me take a roll for a second. Okay. Right. So, so we'll talk about with her in a little bit. They're going to try to fix the audio. Okay. So, um, do you have any upcoming events, uh, modeling? Um, coming up, yes. Uh, Catherine Schuler has one on May 14th at the Yotel, and it's honoring. Um, Luther Vandross mother. Oh my gosh, awesome. Yeah, so there's going to be music, there's going to be artists, and they're going to have a runway show. Oh, that's going to be fun. And the 14th of May. The 14th wow. of May. Everyone brings their mothers. So oh, it's going to be nice. special. That is wonderful. Nice. Yeah. A quick question. Yes. Um, what would you recommend for those who are going to go out on their first audition, let's say modeling, what gear should they have? For... For a modeling audition, what right. should their gear be? What should they have in their prep bag? Okay, first of all, bring yourself and make sure that it's no makeup, just naked so they can see your face. Mm -hmm. And just black. I, I always wear a black shirt, black um, tights or jeans, or even blue, mm -hmm. um, but a black shirt, um, black heels. And that's basically it. Um, you could put on foundation. I don't put on any. I need to learn. You're lucky. You're <laughs> blessed. You don't need it. You don't need it. So that's it. That's it. Black, black, and just you know, um, take your hair away from your face and just let them see your face and walk. Great. Okay, cool. That's a great tip. Yeah. That is. You need it for your model bag. I'm yeah. wondering if we can hear Heather now. Hi, Heather. 
Hi, can you hear me? Yes. yes. Perfect. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so I had to steal my earbuds back from my daughter. Okay. Now, the question I was asking you was for myself. Uh, so, because my skin is dry, so the powder, I'm not sure. I mean, I always have a habit of putting powder on top of my foundation. But powder is definitely a, a tough habit to break. It is. Um, and you don't, you don't have to stop. Just make sure you're really moisturized and hydrated underneath. Right, because it's better to be shiny because sometimes the powder wrinkles up or something. I don't know. That's right. So shiny. just make sure you're well moisturized. Right. And use that fierce highlighter Heather has. What? Oh. <laughs> Bro, you're like a just sense. make sure you put it in the right place. Otherwise, it highlights some things we don't want anybody to see. <laughs> like what? Give us an example. <laughs> like fine lines. Okay. Enlarged pores. How do you hide enlarged pores? I like to use a pore minimizing primer. Okay. So that would go on right after moisturizer and okay. before foundation. Okay, that sounds great. And do, does, do those products really, really work? It depends on the brand. Okay. And I've noticed that the higher end, they, they tend to work more. Okay. Okay, sounds good. Go ahead, ask her. You have a question? I have a question, I do. Sure. Um, I've heard about primer. Primer, mm -hmm. is that important to buy with the mascara? Or you don't Oh, so need... that's a lash primer. A lash primer. It's, yes. Lashes. Okay. So that's different from a regular face primer. Oh, okay. The lash primer is very good if you have thin or sparse lashes. Okay. It can help to even regrow your lashes, but it's good also under any mascara. Okay. It'll help to thicken the lashes and make it, um, like you can see the pigment a lot more. Okay. Well, David? that's a good tip because my, my lashes are very thin. That's a yeah. good. That's something yeah. good to know. But they yeah. also, right, Heather? They have primers for the eye, um, uh, for uh, your eyelids. To so make I've sure. got a whole bunch of stuff here. <laughs> this it's a little dirty because it's just in my makeup room. But this is an eyeshadow, an eyeshadow base mm -hmm. from Lancome. Okay. And that helps to keep the shadow in place. Okay, but good. honestly, you can just use a concealer. concealer. You don't even need to spend the extra money. Yeah. What about... And this is... Go ahead, I'm sorry. Under... Everybody's always complaining. Their one number one complaint. Under eye circles and under eye bags. How mm -hmm. do that... Okay. What, two questions in one. Good question. So first and foremost, take care of your skin. Mm -hmm. Don't use any cleansing products around your eye that are not meant for the eye area. Try to use a good serum. Mm -hmm. You can get an eye serum, you can get an all over face serum. This mm -hmm. one is Estee Lauder. Um, but to conceal it, depending on how dark the circles are, you can use a color corrector, but you always wanna go with a peach, a red or a pink depending on your skin tone. Can you tell us the skin tones that uh, would need, uh, like for a darker skin, what tone would they use, co color corrector? So the darker the skin tone, the uh -huh. deeper the red. Okay. So you would go with a red color corrector. Yes. Right where you would see that shadowing or that okay. kind of blue color. Okay. But only cover the higher pigmented parts. So what about... And then on top of that, okay, you'll okay. use your concealer. Oh. What about the, the, the lighter shade, you know, the olive tone, uh, the pale? What would you recommend for olive and then for... So they're all going to be the pink and red. Okay. So the lighter, you just go with the pink. You can go into like a tangerine for okay. a mid-tone shade. Okay. And then the deeper reds for the darker skin tones. Sounds good. Uh, another question. Um, have you noticed, I have personally, I've seen a lot of men using makeup. And some oh, of them, yeah. handsome men look so fierce. I'm like, my God, how did you do your brow? I'm jelly. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm actually really 
happy and excited to see so many men embracing the beauty industry know, right? and all the benefits that makeup brings <laughs> and the joy it brings tell me about and, it and and the instagram pictures it's just amazing i'm, I'm really happy phone call oh phone call oh yeah. uh, we have a phone call heather hello hi who hi what's your name my name is francis hi francis where are you calling from brooklyn new york hi do you have a question no questions. Uh, really, I just wanted to call and say, you know, the ladies are pretty, and, you know, and I want to say hi to Vidalia Mola. Hey. And, um, I love what you guys are doing. It's great. Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. You rock. Thank you. Yes. Thank you thank so you, much. Thank you, Francis. Thank you, Francis. <laughs> All right, you guys, um, you know, I'll see you guys. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye bye. A great evening. It's a nice kid, nice kid. Yeah, that was nice. So that was nice. Heather, the only problem I find with men using makeup, I don't want my man mm -hmm. to try to hog my eyeliner <laughs> or start using because we're gonna have a fight. <laughs> you know? You gotta hide that. <laughs> For real. He's like You gotta oh. have a secret stash. I know, but I I did see a man, he was I looked at him, he was like, Oh my gosh. Cheers. Fierce, he oh. was, and very masculine, but he still mm -hmm. had makeup, but not enough, you know, to be like, ew. It was yeah. just, he looked splendid. Wow. He just really highlighted his good features. And how. <laughs> <laughs> As zealous. Uh, what, now what about hiding wrinkles and these fine lines that we as we get older these laugh lines <laughs> and then you get the crow feet that look like you should open your own farm <laughs> sheesh yes absolutely uh, again number one is moisturize and use a good moisturizer okay don't cheap out on the moisturizer and that doesn't mean an inexpensive brand that just means don't go with trends Go with the stuff that's tried and true over the years. If your grandmother used it and it's still around, it's probably an excellent product. Oh, yeah. okay. I know a couple of products like that. Yeah. yeah. And we have mm -hmm. some natural things. Okay. Like coconut oil. Mm -hmm. You know, you can keep that on overnight and just keep your skin nicely moisturized. Right. That's number one. But if you want to cover that up a little more, mm -hmm. again, a nice face primer okay. would do the job with or without foundation. Okay. Mm. What about what do you think about the the facial exercises? Do you feel that as a makeup artist that does help also? Absolutely. And I think exercising any part that makes you look or feel better is a wonderful idea. Okay. And makeup is just a little right. addition to that. Well, That's a good tip. I'm using a lot of additions. On top of additions. <laughs> on top of additions. Addition. <laughs> she doesn't need much. I know, I, I do. But so when cool. do you plan on coming uh, to New York to do a makeover? Yeah. You know, I was talking with Joey earlier, and I just have to look at my schedule. Now that I know when you guys are, are filming, I'm going to pick a Thursday and just come down. I'll let you guys know well in advance. Oh, that's great. Very good. Oh, I have one more question for you. Well, I actually have more than one. <laughs> what would you, when you do your face, you say you, mo you cleanse, you moisturize, um, which part of your face do you do first? Mm, good question. For cleansing and moisturizing? No, makeup-wise. Oh, makeup? I start out with the all-over face makeup. So oh. I get that quote-unquote flawless complexion okay and then I'll do my eyes what do you do to protect your eyes from fallout because you know some of the powders what do you do I use a good eyeshadow oh, hi. <laughs> I'll tell you I'll tell you <laughs> I, I have experienced some expensive fallout Ooh. I'm not gonna name any names name but names, name no, names. no 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 name names. <laughs> no 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 it's some higher end stuff but okay. um, it's ridiculous. I'll show you something awesome. And it's $23 at Ulta. Oh. Wow. Ooh. Wow. Can you see this? That's a yes. lot of colors. This is a I Morphe shadow. palette. Oh, I love those. Can't see the They names. come. Oh, it's Morphe. Let me see if. 
Oh, morphine. Perfect. Like morphine. morphine. Yes. <laughs> I can't. I, I can't. I'm blocking my own view. It's okay. So is that what you so, have on now? I have that, and I love Smashbox. Yes, yeah, Smashbox. I heard about. Smashbox. Oh my God, it's delicious. Love I thought it. you just yeah. told Tinkerbell to just do the magic because you look gorgeous. Oh, <laughs> thank you. I I I went from just my normal everyday makeup. To full drag in like 15 minutes. <laughs> what? Awesome. 15 minutes. Wow, no, that's yeah. all it takes. Oh. It'll take me hours. 15 minutes. Have to start all over again. Oh, wow. She you have to teach much. classes, Heather. Come down and teach I, classes. I do. I, I teach classes um, where I am. I'm actually oh. teaching uh, an entire salon on Sunday. Wow. Oh, that's yeah, good. It's pretty exciting. Heather? A lot yes. of people have issues when they're trying to do the eyeliner, but you know, the little wing, the cattail. How do you, oh my God, come on. What's a good? I cheat. Okay, tell me. I go in with a regular pencil liner. Okay. And I go just make like a little bit of a, like a guide. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. But then I also go over it with a little shadow, so it's not perfect. It's not a stark line. Right. And then I think you saw me a little before the show started. I went in with a marker. Okay. So this is not like a regular liquid liner where you have the little brush and the bristles can go all over the place yeah. and, and kind of show your little lines in your eye. Uh, nice marker will get the job done and it'll be sturdy and steady across your eyelid hmm. okay that sounds good what about this other question when we have <laughs> i know i told you i only had one question I love this five. Five. look look only one question one two three four Go five, five. Yes. this is a mistake i've seen a lot uh how, where should you stop putting the foundation should it be here here depropage or here or where because sometimes you'll see the two different tones yes. where mm -hmm. well first of all you should be getting a color match. Uh -huh. You can go to any department store. I don't care if you're buying product there or not. You sit down at a counter. Um, you could even go to Chanel. I'll tell you some good ones. Uh, Clinique, okay. Estee Lauder, Lancome. Any one of those, they will sit you down. Okay. They'll do a complimentary color match. And with that, what you take away is your skin tone's intensity. Mm -hmm. So, like, very fair would be a one. Um, I would be maybe a three, four, mm -hmm. somewhere in that range. And your undertones, which would be a cool, a neutral, or a warm. Okay. So those two things are very helpful, and you can take that with you anywhere. You can use whatever foundation you like. So Heather. where should you stop again? Oh, where? Yeah, here, here? Oh, so when, once you have the right color, all you need to do is start kind of centrally okay. and blend out. You, don't, you shouldn't be applying product anywhere near your jaw. You should just be blending it from here out so that it fades and nice. it's seamless. It doesn't look like an orange and white orange. Exactly. And, I have a question. Uh, mm -hmm. my, uh, my mother is always telling me, go to uh, Macy's or uh, Lord & Taylor and let them pick a, a tone for you. So you're just like preaching to the choir and I need to hear that. Because I'll just go to the pharmacy like I did today and pick out a bronzer and it's not even my color. It was the number one. And that's for somebody really fair. Right. Um, so thank you for, for telling me. I will go sit down, make an appointment. But it was a good bronzer. Of course. You don't even need an highlighter. appointment. You just walk in. Just walk in? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Absolutely. You see, the bronzer became her highlighter. Yeah. So I was like, girl, oh, just, just use well, it. Oh, well, there you go. I told her, just go. Double duty. Highlight. Perfect. Explain to some who don't understand, because that's the new trend, highlighting. What's, this, what's the use of highlighting? What's that for? So highlighting is to really accentuate our bone structure mm -hmm. or kind of fake what we don't have naturally. Mm. So sometimes as we age, 
you know, everything droops a little bit. And we a want little to bring bit? It up. Gravity done hit me. <laughs> 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 it hits us all. Oh, Jesus. So it's got a vengeance on me. What you want to do is just highlight, feel where your cheekbone is. All right. Let's. Okay. And you're going to highlight right on your cheekbone. Oh, okay. There you go. Right there. Right there. And you're going to keep it right in that see little it, see space. It? Yeah, I see Look. that line. You see that? See? Perfect. Hi, yes. girl. Sad. <laughs> it's beautiful. So that's, good tip. It is, that's no. a good, you know, good place to start. And where else in the face should you put highlighter? Just here? Because I see well, some people you know, just go crazy. If you're just practicing, I would say just start here. Okay. I do the bridge of my nose. I do a little dot here. Normally, I go even around the outside of the eyebrows. Sometimes a little right in the cupid's bow. Yeah. Even on the chin, okay. you know, you just can go crazy. <laughs> Another thing I use highlighter for is to brighten up my eyeshadow on the inner corners. Oh, so that's oh, yeah, that. a fun little thing you can do also. Yeah, that's what I did. I told her, let me make you sparkle. Wait, point, yeah. point. She, she's a miracle worker. No, I'm not, but yes, you look at that. Look at her. Girl, do, do this. Do Good that. tips. Well, you look fabulous. What about the bronzer? Do you think a bronzer um, and a highlighter can work together, or you need one by itself? Nope. You can absolutely use them together. Okay. I love a good bronzer. Uh, again, as long as you have your right shade. If you're a lighter, complected individual, I would stay away from the orange tones. Mm -hmm. um, if you're a little bit more medium, then you can use a more orange to give yourself a golden look. And with a bronzer, if you're using it like a contour, you want to start, I forgot what this part of the ear is called, but this little, this little thing right here. The thingamajig. You want to start, <laughs> yeah, the thingamajig, exactly. That's the scientific term. <laughs> so you want to start from there. So okay. that'll be right under the cheekbone. Okay. where you would want a shadow to fall. Oh, to beneath the highlighter. A contour. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. We're I doing. see it. I see it. Okay. And then in between, mm -hmm. use a nice little pinky blush. Wow. Right. So I'll that it like all that. comes together. Okay, I'll Great remember tip. that. Well, thank you. Thank you, Heather. Back Tax for the Street is a nonprofit organization providing back tax containing basic food supplies, hygienic products, and information to the homeless of New York City. To find out how you can help, visit backpacksforthestreet.org. To find out how you can help them in this mission, go to the website backpacksforthestreet.org.